Hey guys, SH here, and today I'm gonna be covering the Crabber AP Sniper. This is gonna be the only true bullet action sniper rifle that you'll be able to use in Timefall, and you can unlock this gun at level 44. So, one thing that this gun is very special at is its bullet velocity. Yes, this gun has a bullet velocity of around 15 meters per second. So, if you're aiming at the moving target, you're gonna have to predict the aiming just like the Battlefield 4 or any Battlefield series. It's not like Call of Duty that you can quick scope and you can just aim and shoot. It's not like that. You're gonna have to predict the movement. Otherwise, it's just gonna be pretty much impossible to hit the moving target. But anyway, let's first talk about the stats of this weapon real quick. So this gun has a damage of 500. Yes, I said it right. It has a damage of 500. And for those of you guys, if you don't know about the health of the regular pilot, the pilot has a total health of 200. So basically, as long as you're accurate with this weapon, you're pretty much guaranteed to get that one shot to kill. But one bad thing though is that if you shoot this gun against the Titan, it's only gonna deal damage of 100 other than 500. And if you rodeo a guy, it's gonna deal total damage of 600. But one thing to keep in mind though is that this gun has a very slow rate of fire, so I wouldn't even recommend you rodeoing a guy while using a sniper. Because I know 600 is a pretty good damage, but 600 with the slow rate of fire isn't gonna be worth it that much. So what you need to do, if you see a guy using a Titan, just get the heck out of there and you should be good to go. Now with the headshot multiplier, it has a 1.4 times to the head. So if you're not using a suppressor, it's not going to be mattering that much because you're pretty much guaranteed to get that one shot kill. But if you are using a suppressor, the only way to get that one shot kill is to get a headshot. So unless you're getting a headshot, you're not going to get that one shot kill. So I would highly, highly recommend you for going for the headshot if you are using a suppressor. Now for the rounds per minute, this gun fires at 111 rounds per minute which is the slowest in the entire primary weapons but it is quite understandable because this gun is a bolt action sniper rifle so it has the potential to kill a guy in just one shot at pretty much any ranges unless you're using a suppressor so it is the slowest but as long as you're accurate and as long as you predict that movement while you're moving I don't think it's gonna be mattering that much. Now for the movement, it is a little bit slower than the SMGs which you move at 95% of the base speed. There's pretty much nothing special to talk about because only the SMGs and pistol has the 100% but everything else has a 95% of the base speed. Now for the recoil, it is NA because since this is a bolt action and since this is a semi-automatic, as long as you fire the weapon and rechamber the weapon, your crosshair is going to stay in the exact same place so there's nothing special to talk about that. Now for the magazine size, it is pretty low which has 5 rounds total with 11 spare magazines and if you put an extended mag on, it's gonna go up to 6 rounds total with also 11 spare magazines. For me, I love using the extended magazines over the normal size because that one shot really really helped me to get the extra kills out of it and that one shot can really give you a life or death depending on the close to the medium range situation. And then for the reload time is also pretty slow which takes 2.50 seconds with one in the chamber and 3.61 seconds empty. If you compare the reload time to submachine guns which has around 1.9 to 1.8 seconds, 2.5 seconds is extremely slow. So I would highly recommend you finding a cover before you're reloading because it is pretty much gonna take forever to reload especially if you run out of the entire rounds you're gonna have to take that full 3.61 seconds to reload. But in order to help that reloading time you can use a perk called quick reload kit which reduces your reloading time by 30% so if you want to reduce the reloading time go ahead and use that kit because that's going to tremendously help your reloading time. And now for the aim down size time it is also the slowest out of the entire primary weapons which takes 0.45 seconds zooming in and 0.2 seconds zooming out. But this is still quite understandable because this is a bullet action sniper rifle and again this gun has the potential to kill a guy in just one shot at any ranges. And now for the hipfire spread, it's extremely bad. In fact, this gun has one of the worst hipfire spread out of the entire primary weapons in Timefall. So what I recommend you if you see a guy in a close range, there are three choices that you can do. First thing, you can try to quick scope a guy, and yes, it is possible to quick scope in Timefall, but a lot of times it's not gonna work it because it takes 0.45 seconds to zoom in, and by the time you're completely zoomed in, the enemies knock you out a lot faster than you. So yeah, you can actually quick scope, and then the second choice, you can get your secondary out, and you can just try to shoot the heck out of it and then the last choice you can melee a guy and that's probably the best choice to go if you see a guy in a close range but if you see a guy in medium range you're pretty much gonna get outgun period unless you have a really good accuracy now for the recommended size, I would recommend you using the 4.5x size other than the default 6.0x size because all the maps and time falls are designed between close to the medium range engagements but 6.0x size I think is just way way too much so what I recommend you is 4.5x size and that should be pretty much perfect for the sniper rifles in the game. 
And for the recommended attachment, I'm gonna recommend you using the extended map because like I said, that one extra ammo can give you a life or death, especially between the close to medium range situation. And without using the extended map, I just got killed so many times that there were just so many chances that I would just kill a guy in just one shot. And by the time when I was aiming, I was ran out of ammo and I got killed so many times. So yeah, extended map is a really, really good choice to go. So I would recommend you using the 4.5x side for the extended magazine. So that's all the information that I have for the proper AP sniper so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!